All right. Now we're doing 7Q Waiting Room. This is by Tiriana, and 71% of the people like it. There's a waiting room with in chairs set in a single row. Chairs are consecutive, consecutively numbered from one to in. First is the closest to the entrance, which is the exit as well. Uh, for some reason, people choose a chair in the following way. Find a place as far from other people as possible. Find a place as close to the exit as possible. All chairs must be occupied before the first person will be served. It looks like there needs to be 10 patients and ch 10 chairs. All right. Here's what it looks like. So basically, closest to the door right here. Furthest away from that person, way over here. And then furthest away from this person and this person is going to be right here. So five, four it's closer to the exit so there's gonna be four on this side all right and then so now sitting in the middle we've got two people over here one over here so four is here then two people split two excuse me two chairs in the middle split five six over here seven uh and then it just starts filling in seven eight nine ten just like that so let's draw a little diagram real quick, because that's all this that's all this content needs is uh, some knowledge of what's going on. All right. So since it's always going to be more than two, where does it say that? Oh, right here. It's always going to be greater than two. N is always going to be greater than two. So let's do some arrays right here. We'll do uh, like seven of them. How about that? Three, four, five, six, six, and seven. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this one's going to have three people in it. So one, two, three spaces. This one's going to be, oh, I should have just done this, huh? And then, and then, uh, nah, that's dumb though. Let's just keep doing this. All right. Just bear with me for a second. Because there's definitely a certain pattern that goes along with this. That's why it's like one of those trick katas. Makes you want to do like an hour worth of coding just for something they could have done. You could have done it in like five seconds. So here we go. Let's see. So the first one would be here. Second one would be here. Third one would be here, right? All right. So first one would be here. Second here. And as you can see, every single one is going to be like that. And then like this. So you can already see patterns developing. So this one has uh, two spots. It wants to go closest to the door. Since it has this person has to be next to somebody. So they want it closest to the door. And here's the last one. This one. Furthest away from both people. And then the closest to the door. And then this one. And then here we go. Three so close closer to the door here three they still want to be closer to the door and they got to be next to somebody four five six and then here we go three they got to be next to somebody four five six seven where's three on this one probably right here yes three and then four and then just fill them in five six seven eight and here's one another one three four five six seven eight nine and if you haven't noticed yet the last person to come in is always in this chair all right so by that logic 
we're going to say return in minus one. <laughs> and let's see what happens. Would you look at that? Oh, amazing. Attempt it. There we go and submit it. All right, let's go to my solutions. Just me on this one, mainly because of this thing. But uh, very much like this one, even though it's too tricky. Uh, and we'll see you next time.